Hey everyone, this is Mike here with Inaka Software. This video is set up to show you how you can get your Computer Cuisine Deluxe 7.0 recipe collection onto your iPad or your iPhone. Now with the all new version 7.0, it's incredibly easy to do this and it all takes place with the FileMaker Go app that is available for free on the App Store. So the first thing you want to do is you, I'm going to click on a web browser and first thing you want to do is head on over to FileMaker.com and if you do a Google search for FileMaker Go or go to this exact URL right here, you can click on either the app that's available for the iPad or the iPhone or if you have both, you can download both. It's a separate app for the iPad and a separate app for the iPhone, but the good thing is both are completely free. So the old way of transferring your recipe collection was with an app that I created, but with the new FileMaker Go setup, it's just so much easier to use their free app and then that way you get all the full editing capabilities and browsing and, and everything that's built into Computer Cuisine Deluxe 7.0. So this is really the way to go. So what you want to do is download that, then sync that to your iPad so that let's, I'm going to, for this demonstration, I'm going to use an iPad. So what you want to do is sync that to your iPad. And then once you have the FileMaker Go app on your iPad, you're essentially ready to go. So the way you get the your recipe collection onto your iPad is basically just through iTunes. So the first thing you want to do is go to com your applications folder and go to Computer Cuisine Deluxe 7.0 and find that folder. So in the new 7.0 folder, you'll see something like this. You might see some extra files in here, but um, there's basically the version 7.0 app and then there's an, a .ina file. Now, this .ina file is the data file and this is the app. So what you wanna do is make sure that you focus on the data file because that is the file that has all of your recipe data. You use that in conjunction with the FileMaker Go app to then view your collection. So all you do is after you've loaded that app onto your iPad, you wanna go over to iTunes and you'll see that your device is set up on the sidebar. One thing about the sidebar with iTunes, um, I know that they've changed around some of their menus and it you might say, hey, where's my sidebar? Um, it's under the view command, and I think it defaults to hide sidebar so that they make it clean, but I think it's kind of stupid. So I always select show sidebar, so that allows you to see sort of the old way that they used to have it set up. So definitely wanna show that sidebar. Then once you do that and you have your iPad connected, you'll see your iPad, whatever name that you have right there, and it will be connected. So once you tap on that, you wanna click on apps up here. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the FileMaker Go application right there. Now it comes with some pre set up templates, I believe, otherwise I may have added these, I don't really remember, but um, whether it's blank or whether you see this here, it's not a problem. So to get your entire recipe collection onto the FileMaker Go app, all you have to do is basically drag this onto here. Now, I purposely have a lock screen and my iPad is closed and it's locked. And I did this on purpose because watch what happens when you try to drag this in. You're gonna see a warning that says, hey, you're not allowed to do this. And I have a feeling a lot of users might see this and think, hey, it's broken. No, it's not. Actually, it's because your iPad is locked or your iPhone. So what you wanna do is unlock it. I'm doing this off screen. Now my iPad is on and it's unlocked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag this on here and you'll see up there, I'll do it again, just to be, if you look up you near know, that Apple logo up at the top, you'll see that it's copying that and that's it. You're all set basically. So you don't even have to sync because you've now copied that information already onto your iPad directly. And so what you wanna do now is simply go to your iPad, tap on the FileMaker Go app and then under the files on device, you'll see towards the bottom, there'll be a little section that says other documents and you'll see Computer Cuisine Deluxe listed there, just like this exact file name. And once you tap on that, it will load Computer Cuisine Deluxe for the iPad or the iPhone and you're all set. Basically, that's how you set it up so that you can view your entire recipe collection. Now, you may wanna actually edit and add recipes via your iPad and you can do that too. 
it's just essentially reversing the process. So if you add any recipes onto your iPad um, or your iPhone, and let's say you add three recipes or, or what have you, and now you're done. Well, they're existing only on your iPad as of this moment. So if you want to copy them back to your desktop computer, you just reverse it on out and copy it back this way. It'll say, do you want to replace? You can click yes and you're ready to go. So that's how you sync it back manually. Um, it will not sync automatically, but actually that's a good thing because you may accidentally delete a recipe off your iPad or what have you. And this way your entire collection is still rock solid and it's all set up and it won't be altered. But if you manually know that you've added some recipes on your iPad or your iPhone, simply drag it, replace that, and you're good to go. So basically that's it. It's a completely simple process. You just have to um, download the FileMaker Go app um, via the App Store. And once you have Computer Cuisine 7.0, you're all set. Thank you.